Hi guys, I'm Darren, PJ Professional. Welcome to the channel and I hope you're really well. So, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Adidas S2G SL 2024. So the S2G SL has been out for a number of years and I personally have worn them in the past. Wore them all last year. The new textured one was very, very comfortable and I found it really good. So, I have bought myself a pair of these for this year. Because I've had a good experience in the past, I'm going to try the new one. So they are different, obviously they are the leather style. Uh, so what does Adidas have to say about the new S2G SL? Well, it is a running style design which blends the traditional in a sporty package. So I can see that myself. Um, it looks very similar to the trainers um, and it, it will appeal to people who are, you know, wanting a, a less traditional looking golf shoe um, that can probably wear both on and off the golf course so the uppers are waterproof leather which is obviously essential when you're in the UK having that peace of mind that you know it is a waterproof golf shoe um, I'm sure will benefit um, most golfers with the sporty design you know there is obviously there's two different camps here so there's on one side the traditional that likes ones that look like golf shoes that look like shoes and then there's the other side of the camp which is people that like a trainer style so which in the comments down below which camp do you sit in do you sit in the traditional golf shoe or do you sit in the less traditional trainer style design so you know put them comments in below which do you um prefer wearing taking the shoe from inside to out okay inside the golf shoe you've got an ortholite sock liner which provides exceptional comfort and provides the perfect foot environment um, for you while you're playing golf as i've mentioned that the sh the outer is made of leather it has a supportive heel around the back the heel is got a lot of support in it um, so there's lots of support in this golf shoe even though it has got a very sporty look on it it's got a U shaped lacing system obviously they do come in different lacing systems Boa being one of them as well um, it's also got this extended heel design on the back again to provide stability and if you look at how it's the sole is made then it has a little bit of a an angling out to provide some some support whilst you're on the golf course golf shoe companies spend a lot of time and money making the midsole and spending time on the midsole adidas have got the lightning strike midsole on the s2g sl um it provides exceptional cushioning and support and as i've mentioned it, it the heel does go back a little bit further providing that support you've got the AdiWare outer sole on the bottom this is hard wearing that is really a must in in spikeless golf shoes you know if you've got a a, a golf sh a outer sole that is, is does wear really quickly then they're gonna you're gonna lose traction very very quickly and we will find out on the golf course we will do an outside test and to see how they do feel i have done a review on the adidas retro cross which i will link just above here um and their outer sole was i would say not as grippy to the eye as this would be um but i didn't have any problems with that when i went out on the golf course but i can see there's some very very prominent pimples on this shoe that will give you a lot of traction whilst you're on the golf course they do come in different different colors this is the green um, but it does come in the blue and obviously the matching blue sole blue blue trim and things like that so that's it also does come in the blue style as well i think the best thing to do would be to put them on get them out play a few holes and then see then come back in and tell you what they were like whilst playing <laughs> I 
After wearing the S2G STL for a number of weeks now, played some golf in it, practiced in them, I can definitely recommend, if you are looking for a super comfy pair of shoes, then it could be a one for you to wear this year. They have made some definite upgrades on last year's model. One of the problems that we had with last year is the laces were super, super long. Now they're just a normal length, so when you double knot them, which is what I do when I play golf, is there's not a problem in terms of being too long and, 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 and flapping all over the place. Um, also, I do recommend the leather one. Um, I felt like I had a lot, a lot more support, and I felt like if I would, and if I was going to go and play golf, a little bit more in keeping with from a shoe that I would normally wear, because I would normally wear a leather style golf shoe. So maybe that's the reason why it felt like I could could play the golf in it. They do look very, very fashionable, very, very sporty. So if you are looking for that golf shoe that is a little bit different, then the Adidas. S2G SL24 could be an ideal one for you to be wearing on the fairways this year. Thank you very much for watching. If you do like reviews, maybe pop onto these videos here to check out other products that we have, have covered in previous videos. If you have enjoyed the content, please do consider hitting that subscription button below. Your help in building my community is absolutely um, fantastic and I do, under, do not underestimate your support in helping me grow this channel. Thank you very much for watching, hit that subscription bell, give us a thumbs up like and thank you very much and I look forward to welcoming you back on my next video.